In less than 48 hours, Central Florida's largest school district will vote on reopening schools. The Orange County School Board was expected to vote last night, but after meeting for nine hours and hearing passionate pleas from parents and teachers, the school board decided to wait until Friday to vote. Our team coverage continues now with News 6's Lauren Cervantes. She spoke with a board member who says she still has not decided how she will vote. I have to be their voice. This is not what I like, what I don't like, what I you know, what I'm in favor of. I believe that the majority of my um, my parents and teachers are advocating for not opening the schools. So I have to support them and I have to be um, the voice of, of my community. Orange County School Board member Johanna Lopez says she's willing to lose her seat on the board if it means voting in favor of what teachers and parents want. I'm willing to lose my seat and because I think that life has a value. I think that life is more valuable than anything else. Lopez says she is still unsure how the vote will end up on Friday and says she would still like to have more conversations on when to start school and the innovative learning option. While Lopez has questions, parents have concerns. What are the three C's that the FLDOH puts out? They say avoid closed spaces. They say avoid crowded places and closed contact settings. What is a school but those three things? James Barone says he was at yesterday's board meeting and spoke during public comment. He says he has a son who's turning seven and says they've made the decision to have him learn from home. There will be weaponized children, parents who have no regard for other parents or situation or parents who are forced to send their children to school in spite of how sick their child is. And these children will spread that virus. That was Lauren Cervantes reporting. Other districts around Central Florida are also working to solidify their plans for the fall. News 6 anchor Matt Austin continues our team coverage with how those plans will impact you. Matt. A lot going on, ladies, this afternoon. Seminole County school leaders discuss their plans for August. The school superintendent says, though, enrollment has been open less than 24 hours. 50% of people are still selecting in-person education for the fall. He is encouraging more people to take advantage of that online option. We'll have more from that meeting coming up at 4.30. Let's go to Volusia County. The school board members are meeting right now to discuss reopening schools. That meeting started just about 30 minutes ago. They're considering public comments as a part of their plan. There will not be a vote today. A lot of people have been talking at these meetings, by the way. In Osceola County, the deadline is today for parents to decide what their kids will do in the fall. Yesterday, the district pushed back the school start date two weeks from August 10th until the 24th. Parents have three options to choose from there. To get the full breakdown of every school district in the area, we want to make it easy for you. We have their plans they're proposing. All you have to do is head to clickorlando.com slash back to school.